Welcome to the Eisenhower Priority Matrix Template Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use this template, but first, let's talk about the Eisenhower Matrix. As you might have guessed, this productivity method was named after Dwight D. Eisenhower, 34th President of the United States. He was known for his exceptional productivity. During his two terms as president, Eisenhower founded DARPA, a technological research agency that played a major role of laying the foundation for today's modern internet. And he also founded NASA, which, as we all know, is America's space agency. Originally, Eisenhower applied his prioritization method during World War II as a military general, helping him make quick decisions under pressure. So the Eisenhower matrix divides tasks into four quadrants based on two key factors, importance and urgency. The first quadrant is called do now. Your tasks that are both important and urgent and therefore need your immediate attention should be categorized in this section. The second quadrant we call schedule. These are tasks that are important but not urgent. Therefore, you need to put them on your to-do list and schedule them for later. The third quadrant takes up things that you can delegate as they are not important but they are urgent. So they do need to be done fairly soon but they are not particularly important to you. Finally, we have the delete quadrant. Things that are not important and not urgent either should go in this section. And now let's go back to the template. So this template is available in both Google Sheets and Excel, but you will be only able to use the Excel version offline from your desktop if you have the very latest version of Excel 365. If you open the Excel file and you see false statements everywhere here instead of the checkboxes, then unfortunately it means that you don't have the latest version of Excel. In this case, you have two options. You can still use the Excel version online because Excel 365 is actually free on the web. So if you log into your Microsoft account online and drop this file to your OneDrive, you will be able to use the Excel version. Or you can use the Google Sheets version from your Google Drive. The other important thing to note is that some ranges in this spreadsheet are protected to make sure that you don't erase important formulas. But it is not password protected so if you would like to, you can get rid of the sheet protection. In Excel, go to Review and click on Unprotect Sheet. And in Google Sheets, click on Data, select Protect Sheets and Ranges, and then click on the Delete button here. Now let's see how to customize this template. On the Welcome page, you have the possibility to create your own list of categories. The template already includes some task categories by default, but you can overwrite them and create your own categories up to 15. But when you fill out this list, make sure that you don't drag any cells and place it somewhere else, because that can disrupt some formulas in the spreadsheet. Next, go to the Eisenhower Matrix tab and start listing your tasks. After that, select a category from the drop-down menu. And then select whether the task is important and or urgent. If you leave both of the checkboxes unchecked, the spreadsheet will automatically sort this task into the delete quadrant. If you mark a task as urgent but not important, the task will be moved to the delegate quadrant. If you check the important checkbox but not the urgent checkbox, the task will be moved to the schedule quadrant. And finally, if you check both of the checkboxes, the spreadsheet will automatically move the task to the do now quadrant. If you want to, you can also set up a due date for your tasks. If you're using the Google Sheets version or Excel online, you can just double click in the cell and the calendar will appear, but in Excel offline, you will have to type the date manually. The spreadsheet will automatically calculate how many days you have left until your due date. And finally, mark the status of the task. When you mark a task as completed, the line will be crossed out. On the top of the template, you can check your overall completion rate, the status breakdown, category breakdown, and the priority breakdown. If you want to see which quadrant a task belongs to, simply click on the little arrow next to the task. This will take you directly to the quadrant where the task has been categorized, and you can also check whether the task has been completed or not. On the top of the quadrant, you can check how many overdue tasks you have, how many tasks you have for today, and how many completed and uncompleted tasks you have. And if you want to check what are these tasks that are due today or completed, 
you can just click on the header and this will direct you to this page where you can see the list of your overdue, completed and uncompleted tasks and today's tasks. And now let's have a look at the dynamic calendar. This tab is fully automated. Just select whether you want to see the calendar with a Monday or Sunday start and select the month from the drop down menu. And if needed, enter the year. You can also filter this calendar by category and priority. So for example, if I want to see only my personal tasks uh, that are in the due now quadrant, I can just select these options to filter the view. So that's it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.